Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please invite your friends. And as you see, this is a surprise going online, but we will do always those kind of surprise. So always subscribe and join us in Patreon so you can be notified. One of you, he sent a question and we will put in the screen. Uh, and actually I received an email about it just a few days ago in uh, in Patreon, but in different form. So our friend here, Paul, asking one question. Please say to me that we have the same God because there is only one God. The difference is only we have different picture of God. Is this is a good argument? You know, everybody knows that I use words which nobody use. So this priest who is talking to you is a donkey and he is no Christian. Be aware of false teachers who come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So as long we go by his statement, there is only one God. That's mean the Hindus, the Buddhist, the I mean, all of them they worship the same God. That's it. That's a solve problem. That's it. So the Bible is not true then, because Jesus says, "I am the only way." And nobody can go to the Father but by me. So this idiot who is saying that to you, he is a certified idiot. Obviously, he did not know his book. The Bible confirmed that there is no salvation except by Jesus, which means if you accept any other name as God, you are not worshipping God. This is a Christianity. As simple as that. So the reason, you know, people get confused is, because obviously, with my respect to the one who asks questions, I like people who ask questions. If you have little education of your belief, you will not even ask the question. And you will be able to get your priest busted immediately. And you should warn everybody goes to that church and listen to that priest to get out of his church or to fire him out. Why we do not know how to answer such a, such a false argument? Because simply, many, they are just a Christian by names. Maybe they never even read the verse in their book. They don't know even what their book is. In John 14, verse number 6, but I advise you to read the whole chapter, not only a verse, because usually only people read a verse. Jesus said clearly, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If we go and ask ourselves, it doesn't matter how many religions you want to name them, this is goes for everybody. Muslim, non Muslim. Potato, tomato, there's millions of religions. Do they believe that salvation is only through Jesus? Do they believe that Jesus is the life, which means he is the source of life, which means he is God? Do they believe that he is the way and no other way? They don't. So when a foolish man he speak to a foolish man, he sound wise, because both are foolish. What you expect? John 14, verse number 6, Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth. And by the way, those are names or attribute the God of the Quran, the false God of the Quran, try to attach to himself. As an example, one of the names of the false god of Islam is the truth, Al-Haq. This is, as you see, the name of Jesus. Not a name as a name, but a fact as a fact. I am the truth, for only God is the truth. Everything else is not. You see, even the earth, even everything you see, is not even the truth, because this is all we demolish. The truth is something don't and will not demolished. 
anything can be demolished is not a truth. In the same way God, he made things come to existence from nothing, he can make it go back to nothing. But the truth always will be there, for God is the source of everything. So I am the way, the truth, the life. And here we see Jesus is saying clearly, I am the source of life, and no life without me. And then he continues saying, no man comes into the Father but by me. So how your priest, it's funny that these days look like everybody is a priest. I don't know how they get their job. He say that all of us we worship. Your, your priest is a hippie. Do he have some tattoo in his head and his ear, in his belly bum? Do he have some earring in his nose? Do he have some earring in his belly bum? Look like it. So my friend, if we go and search in YouTube, we will find tons of videos about the same topic, and many of them, they give you false information, even those who they are saying to you, well, they are not agreeing that we worship the same God. As an example, this brother here, he is saying that, no, we don't worship the same God if you watch his video. But in the same time, he gives you very funny, silly information. As an example, he claimed that Muhammad is from Ishmael and the Arab are from Ishmael, but the Arab were exist before Ishmael. It's like saying the Egyptian are from Ishmael when Egyptian are exist before, <laughs> before Ishmael and before his mother. And if we ask those people who they claim to have knowledge, I mean, how in the world you become so silly? And this is why, actually, many Christians are misled and being deceived by priests. Because priests, he deceive you, he make you believe, go to every single church, they will say to you, the Muslims are from Ishmael, Muhammad is from the Ishmael, the Arab is from Ishmael. Arab is not even an ethnic. Arab is an Aramaic word, mean desert. There's no ethnic, it's called Arab. It never exists. Arabia is a desert. Even when we say Aram, Aram is a name, right? But Aram is given as a name for the person who live, he live in the hills. So they are given names by where they live. Otherwise there is mixed races there too. So, people, because of their ignorance, isn't it the Bible in the book of Genesis says that the mother of Ishmael, she married him to an Egyptian woman. So, how the father is an Aramaic and the mother is an Egyptian and the son married an Egyptian and then the kids became Arab. So, we have a lot of deception in the field of education and because you are ignorant anyway you do not know what they are talking about so you think and you ask yourself oh man we got a point there we worship the same god because all of us we worship god anyway the muslim don't believe in jesus as god in fact muhammad is nothing but a copy of a man his name is manu manu is a man he came to replace jesus muhammad's story is always fit with manu sometime i think that maybe Muhammad is just another name of Manu. Maybe you can search about it. Maybe you can do some study about it and learn and educate yourself. And don't take, don't take, you know, your education from shallow, crazy, stupid people. You know, I mean, the, the, the world is sick with stupidity. You will find in the internet tons of discussion about this thing, and you will find how silly even those who claim to be believers when they speak about it. When we can refute all what they claim in one verse. Secondly, you see, I'm not going even to mention if Allah is a three or not. Who care? Here three is one. This is not me an issue, really. Because, <laughs> you know, the nature of God is different. John chapter 1 verse number 1 says, In the beginning it was the Word, 
And who is the word is God? Is the word is God in Islam? No. So when you read articles made by so-called Christians and they bring you someone, he's a doctor. Dr. Laracia Hawkins. She wanted to prove that we believe in the same God. So what she do, she wear hijab. Blind cannot lead a blind unless both decide to walk in darkness. Don't be fooled by people they claim PhD. There is a person, he got his PhD. Actually, I care for this person. That's why I help that person. When I get the copy of the PhD, I find that's most of what I say to the person is in his PhD. So it's me who got the PhD, not him. It's my words. He asked for advices, and then he put my words one by one. The same as when Omar, he says, my Lord Allah, he agree with me in three things. Allah, he agree with Omar. <laughs> And then we will find the religion is based in what Omar said. And supposedly Muhammad is the prophet. But what the heck is that? So don't go by silly degrees, PhD, etc. I mean, I can I can accept those degrees when it's come to engineering, somebody work in a spaceship, etc. For sure, you have knowledge in engineering. But when it's come to philosophy and religion, and you know, those people copy paste from the internet and they make a PhD. So, the easiest way to know if the God they worship is the same as God, our God, if his name is Jesus or not. As simple as that. And when we say Jesus, by the way, Jesus is just a Latin version of the, the, the true name of the Messiah, which is Yeshua. Even Muhammad, he could not find the name of Yeshua in his book. So the Muslim, they come with a new name. His name is Isa. The wrong name. And most likely, he heard from some Jews that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, who he thinks she is the sister or the mother of, uh, of Jesus <laughs> or Isa, she have a son. His name is Esau. So he thought this is Isa. This is the son of Maryam. And this is why we notice this man, this thief, who is trying to deceive you. You see, the, the problem is people don't understand. Uh, they, they like There's a guy, his name is James White. He is a Protestant. See, there's deceivers everywhere. Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox. A lot of false teachers are in the field. They are trying to deceive you. So, they claim that the God of Islam is not the moon God. Why? Because the Quran says don't worship the moon. But the moon God is not the moon. The God of a Christian prince is not a Christian prince. The God of this universe is not the universe. People are silly. People are stupid. People cannot be trustworthy. For their IQ is so low. When Muhammad in the Quran, he says, O sister of Aaron, you ask yourself first where Muhammad he learned about Aaron, where he learned about Maryam, where he learned about all those things. The Muslim they will say to you, Allah taught him, and this is why we know that this is Allah doesn't exist. Obviously, this guy is an idiot. He did not know what he's talking about. For Aaron is not the uncle of Jesus. And when a Jewish man he came to Muhammad to confront him, he found his wife alone in the house, and he told her there's hundreds of years between Aaron. And Maryam, Mary. Muhammad, now he have to fix it. So he said, oh, okay. Well, at that time, they used to call them by their great ancestors, prophet. 
but Maryam is not from the same tribe of Musa's. In the same time, how Muhammad can fix what he did already when he called the father of Mary, Amran, which mean she have the same father of Aaron. Even the name here is done wrongly. It is Umram, not Umran. So this idiot is idiot everywhere. Now, somebody might say to you, well, here we go. He believed in Musa. He believed in uh, uh, the story of Adam. He believed in Eve. He believed. So there's tons of things we share. This is because he is a thief. He is a deceiver. You know, when somebody want to kill somebody, he put the poison in the best food he eat, not in the poo, poo So in order to deceive you, this guy, he is born in a society. There is a few religion around. And there's major ones. So he have to accept them or otherwise he will not be accepted. So I accept the God of the Arab, Allah. He accepted the Kaaba. He accepted Abraham. He accepted Isa. He accepted Musa. So he can get all the followers as, he, as much. He, he want to be universal religion. This is why we see Muhammad even promising those who worship stars to go to heaven and then you ask yourself how in the world those who worship the stars and they believe that they are creators they will go to heaven and they have promised to go to heaven in chapter 2 verse number 62 it says Muhammad is assuring that those who believe from the Muslims and those who they are Jews, and those who they are Christian, and those who they are Sabians. Sabians, they believe that the God of the Jews, Adonai, is the devil. Why? Because the Sabian believed that the Pharaoh was one of them. He was a Sabian. And the God of the Jews, he did his magic and he destroyed him by making the flood when they cross the sea. In the Sabian books it says that the Jews are evil following Adonai Shaitan, for he is ordering them to do circumcision. So how we can join all those together? Because Muhammad is a scam. There is Sabian, he wants them to believe in him. So he says, Sabian, you go to heaven, just follow me. Christians, you go to heaven, just accept me. Jews, you go to heaven, you go accept me. Arab, hello, people of the desert, believe in Allah, my God and your God. You go to heaven. It's a scam. It's like those politicians when they go in the in the in the in the election. They go, you know, in, inside them they are against things, but just to be elected, they say things. This is what we call politically correct. So Muhammad, in the beginning of his life, he was very much politically correct. But when he have an army who can kill, destroy, he don't fear anyone. He don't you know, care who accept, who don't. People, they are joining his religion by waves. When? When he conquer. There's a chapter, it's called the chapter of Al-Fatih. What is Al-Fatih? Al-Fatih mean the occupation by or opening by occupation, by the sword. We will find the Quran saying the following. When the victory came, victory of what? The victory of sword. When the victory, the translation here is a stupid, you know. So when the victory of Allah is there, I saw people entering into the religion of Allah in multitude. So people don't want to enter. But when the sword is in the top of their head, everybody enters Islam. So Muhammad is a satanic man. In the beginning, he play as a sheep. Christians, Jews, everybody go. Everybody will go to heaven. Just, you know, just. But when they refused him, he said, I'm going to kill them all. And he did. 
This is why until not long time ago, there is zero Christians in Saudi Arabia. Actually, until now, there is zero citizen in Saudi Arabia. Why? Because Muhammad, he said, I'm going to cleanse the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. Why? If they worship the same God? No, they don't. He knew that very well. So I certainly will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula if, and I will leave only Muslims. The book of what? The book of Jihad. And then you will find the same those who they claim to be priests. They say to you, Jihad is misunderstood. Jihad is just a word meaning struggle. Look like this guy was struggling with the Christians and he convinced them to leave their houses and their towns and their cities and their wealth and their money behind and run away. Jihad is a very peaceful act. This is what they say to you. My friend, those are very false priests. It doesn't matter what the name of the priest is, a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. There's a lot of satanic people there for the sake of making business and being accepted by the political correctness waves. They say what is accepted. We don't. This is why we cannot receive donations in YouTube because we don't say what YouTube accept as a guideline. We don't go by their guideline where we are perfectly correct. We stand with God, not with their money. So if we worship the same God, why he want to kill the Christians? The Quran answer you. Muhammad, he want their money. Even Muhammad, he says, attack the Roman so you can get the blondie girls not even for the sake of his god and muhammad he insists that christians and jews have to pay to live you know the word mafia the word mafia in italy uh, mafia is a word mean family generally speaking but what people do not know that the first mafia exists it was established by Muhammad. Pay or die. In chapter 929, Muhammad, he decided to make money and make it as a business. When Muhammad, he became victorious and now he controlled the Kaaba, the business of the Kaaba died because Kaaba is just the same as Las Vegas. It's a place for people have sex, people do uh, uh, voodoo, People worship idols, and now all the businesses is dying because he killed all those who do business don't agree with him. And this is why later, Muhammad, he ordered the Muslim to do Hajj so he can fix that. So everybody now have to go and spend his life saving. You will see somebody from Indonesia, he don't even have a thousand dollar a year income maybe, or maybe five thousand dollars a year. So you work all your life to save because, you know, if you work and you make $5,000 a year, doesn't mean you can save them in a year because still you have to pay for your, your food, your family, etc. So it will take you a long time to save $5,000. You pay at least $10,000 just to go to Mecca. And that bring a lot of wealth to the people of Saudi Arabia until now. All those poor, naive people, they go to cry in the front of the black stone. Here you see, when Muhammad, he forbade people from going to the Kaaba, who they are not Muslims, he said to them, and if you fear poverty, if you fear what? Poverty. Allah will reach you out of his bounty. How Allah will reach you? Reach you? Is he going to send gold and silver from the sky? No. Attack the Roman, attack the Christians. Fight for the sake of Allah and get the money of the people of the scriptures. So if we believe in the same book or the same God, why you want to kill us? <laughs> why I want to kill a Jew? And why the Jew want to kill me if we believe in the same God?
What the point? And then if you want to live, we can let you live. We will take your land. Everything you own is ours, but you have to pay us every month. Like you work, like a donkey. And then you have to pay tribute out of their hand and they have to be subdued, emulated. So when Muhammad, he used the same names, you know, like Moses, but Muhammad don't believe in the God of Moses. His God, his name is Allah. His nature is different. The God of Moses is a spirit. Is the God of Muhammad is a spirit? No. <laughs> so how we can have the same God? The God of Moses and the God of the Christians is love. God is love. And love never failed. This is the teaching of Christ. Muhammad, he don't believe in love. Believe in kidding. Hate. Even the Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 14, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. So how he can be our God, yet he want to spread hatred between us. And you know, in the world today, if you say the truth, you they say to you, you are spreading hatred, and they will take your channel down, they will ban your books, etc. But as long as Muslims saying that, it's okay. This is the Quran. Shouldn't this book be banned from any country teaching hate? until the day of judgment and the same the same chapter speak against the Jews says Allah will spread hatred and enmity between them so the God of Islam is targeting specifically the Christians and the Jews by hate and enmity and not to forget to mention that Muhammad he promised the Muslim to kill every single Jew before the end of time. To the point, if a Jew, he hide behind a tree or a rock, the tree and the rock will say, oh, there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. And as you see, here we don't say speeches, here we give you proofs. We don't make things up. Everything I said, it's in the front of you on the screen. I don't prepare for my videos, by the way. I just search for them in the front of you on the screen. Is that why Jesus came? Because he want to kill the Jews or he want to save the Jews? If we have the same God, at least we should love those who have the same God. But as you see, this religion teach absolute hatred against the Christians and the Jews. And not to forget other religion too. Because Muslims, they think they are supremacist. Islam is a white supremacist cult. Now somebody will say to you, oh, there's black Muslims. That is a joke. They do not know their religion. If they knew, they will never be Muslims and they are black or Asian. Muhammad, he claimed that Muslims are the best of mankind, and he's speaking to the white Arab. And he said, why they are the best of mankind? He says, chapter 3, verse 110 says, that you are the best of people ever raised, between two bracket for the benefit of mankind. You ask yourself a benefit, that's good. Doesn't sound bad. It says benefit. <laughs> Read. The best for mankind are those who bring them with the chains around their necks till they, till they embrace Islam. And this is how we can save them from going to hellfire. And here you see how evil this statement is. Because if you force someone to convert, he did not convert. How, you can say, how he will go to heaven, yet he don't believe, just force him. That is Satan, my friend. So Muhammad is a satanic man. Actually, I will not be surprised if we 
one day the time come and the Lord he revealed to us that Muhammad himself is a Satan. For everything he stands for is satanic, sex with the children, as an example. Kidnapping, torturing, putting nails in the eyes of people just for the joy of it. Cutting the hands and the feet just to have fun. Ripping a woman, she is over the age of 80, 85 years old, by tying her legs between two camels just because she opposed him. When we speak about God, God have to have nature, not just a word mean God. One of you said to me in an email in Patreon, well, how you explain to me that the Arab Christians, they are using the word Allah in their Bible translation. This is a Bible translation. It's a false translation. If you can find the word Allah in the original Bible, then you have a point. The same as the Muslim, they say Jesus in their translation, but there's no Jesus in the Quran, there is Isa. But we do not know who is this Isa, not a single Arab Christian knows Isa. But if you read the Muslim translation, they say to you, Jesus. But here we have Isa. <laughs> so they try to fool you, and those Arab Christians who they are using certain words like Allah, they are just being fooled by their priest, who they are politically correct because they live under the Islamic occupation, terrorist occupation for 1400 years. So they are using that word. Not long time ago, actually, the court of militia forced Christian not to use the word Allah anymore. Otherwise, you go to jail for Allah is the name of the God of Islam. And then the court, after a few years, they changed their mind and they allowed them to use it. But I encourage any Christian to stay away from such a word. This is not the name of your God. When God been asked by Moses, how I can call you, what I will call you? He said, you say, I am. And I am sound for you like in English, you know, but the origin is in Hebrew. So when we say Yahweh, Yahweh is not a word, it's not a name. It is I am, the one who exists by himself. There is no name. You know, many people, they say to you, the Bible says his name. This is not really a name. It's a statement. It's an announcement. I am the one who exists. I am the one who everything exists by me. This is why Jesus says before Abraham, I am. I am the God of Abraham, and Abraham, he saw me, and he rejoiced on that day. So, we as a Christian, we believe that God is spirit. Muslims don't believe that God is spirit. Just search right now. Do Muslims believe that God is a spirit? They will say no. They will say spirit is one of the creation of Allah, is not God. Christian believe that Jesus is God. Do the Muslim believe that their God, his name is Jesus, and they believe in Jesus as God? No. Christian believe in forgiveness, love, not revenge. The Quran teach evil, rape, revenge, even from the one who did nothing to you. Revenge for what? We do not know. The Quran says that when you cut their chest, when you cut their hands, when you cut their fingertips, Allah will heal your chest. Torture them by your hands. And when you torture them by their, your hands, that will heal your chest. And here you see the false translation. If you change the translator, you will see different words, different st speech, different statement. For Islamic translation is a fraud. Even when they say to you, it says here, fight. The word in Arabic says, قاتلوهم, which means fight to kill. Qatala means kill. 
قاتلوا means fight to kill. So fight to kill against those, against them. And Allah will torture them by your hands, not punish them. You have to change a thousand translation before you reach the right, or maybe you will never reach the right translation because all of them, they are liars. Punish them. And why Allah don't punish us? He want the Muslim to punish us for Allah is a fraud. He's not exist. Muhammad is using his own army to punish those who don't believe in him. And the translation again is false. Punish them is not the accurate word. It's to torture them. Torture. And how we torture? We crucify them. Chapter 5, verse number 33. We crucify them. We cut their hands and their feet from opposite direction. Which means we cut the right hand, then we cut the left foot. Then we cut the left foot, and then we cut the right, etc. Right hand. So, this religion enjoyed torturing and using the pagan torture method to seek revenge. Anyone who do wage war against Allah, and you ask yourself, well, you are waging war. According to Islam, I am waging war now. So my punishment is to be put in the cross, cut my hands, cut my feet, and put nails in my eyes as Muhammad he did after heating the nails with fire. When somebody he say to you something, ask him where you got this from. And as you see, I always search life on air in front of you. For whatever I say, in the Muslim here story, they will say to you, "Well, those people they killed." Uh, I'm trying just to find the hadith for you. They killed the they killed the guy, the the, the shepherd, and they stole the animals. Those are their animals. Number one, number two. This is a story written by you Muslims. We need to ask them what really happened. Number three. Even if this, those people, they are criminals. Why you are torturing them? Why you are crucifying them? Why you are putting nails in their eyes? Why? What kind of a prophet this prophet is? And the funny is, the Muslim, they say that Prophet Muhammad came as a mercy for mankind. Do you see the mercy? He cut off their feet and hands, and then he branded their eyes after he heated the, the, the nails in fire. So not only the nature of their God is not the same, their God is teaching hate. Their God is spread hate between Christians and Jews, specifically targeting us for his evil. Jesus said, I did not come for the healthy. I come for the sick. So Jesus' mission is the opposite of Muhammad's mission. Muhammad's mission is to kill, to drink blood, and to torture specifically the Christians and the Jews. Jesus in the cross, 
He says, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Muhammad, he want to kill every single Christian. He teach enmity between mankind to spread hatred. And the funny is, in chapter 5, verse number 91, Muhammad, he say, that shaitan, he want to spread enmity between you. But the same chapter says, Allah said, I will spread enmity and hatred between the Christians and the Jews, between the Christians and the Christians, between the Jews and the Jews. So the nature of God is different. Even if you don't want to believe in the Trinity, for God, our God is a spirit, from the book of Genesis right away, from the beginning, you will see that God in his spirit. The Muslim, they lie, they say the Christian, they came with the Trinity and the Jews, they never have it. Didn't God appear to Abraham as a man? Didn't the Old Testament teach that God have a spirit? Don't the Old Testament say is God the Father? Isn't it the book of Isaiah speak about Jesus? So, Shaitan, he want to spread hatred and enmity. And then he says, and obey Allah and the messenger. In different, different verse, he says, obey the messenger. And then if you obey the messenger, you obey Allah. But the same chapter saying, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians, between the Jews. between the Christian and the Jews and the Muslims. According to Muhammadan actually, that Abraham himself was a hate monger. And he said clearly that there is enmity between us until the day of judgment, until you believe in Allah. So Muhammad, he used the name of Abraham to deceive you, to fool you, to conquer you. And he did to many. So, if you are a person who believe in Christ, then ask the very simple question, when somebody says to you, we have the same God, says to him, do you believe that Jesus is God? If he say no, well, obviously we don't have the same God. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? If he say no, that means we don't have the same God. Do you believe in your heaven, Christians, that God will make your private part endless and will give you endless women to have sex with, which is nothing but lust and disgusting? For God himself, when he created Adam, he created one Eve. Why I need billions of women in my bedroom? For this is Satan. Jesus said about our heaven, he and she, they will not get married in heaven. They will be the same as angels. We don't have the same heaven. We don't have the same God. We don't have the same ethic. We don't have the same teaching. Christianity is about love and forgiveness. Christianity, when asked Jesus how to pray, the first thing Jesus says to them, ask God, to forgive you as you forgive others. Forgive to us as we forgive to others. Which means before you can receive forgiveness of God, you have to forgive in Islam, no. Go and kill them, cut their hands and fingertips. Enjoy torturing them. And that will make your chest happy. So whoever come to you and says, we believe in the same thing. Tell him you are a fraud. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate for a second. 
and you don't have the guts to say it, then you are no Christian. You are just a fraud too. And if you say to me, I want to be polite, well, Jesus was not polite with the liars. He said to them, in their face, you are a liar. Jesus said to the Jews, who they are Jews, not Hindus, not Buddhas, not Muslims. He said to them, if you are, if your father, you do the work of your father. He said to them, you are evil doers. He said to them, sons of Satan's, son of serpent. Where are you of that? And then you will find another form of a Christian. They say to you, we Christians, when we speak, we should show love. I don't know what love they are talking about. Look like love for them is giving hugs. Sadly, Christians today, they give hugs. When Jesus was shouting at the Jews, and they are Jews, and they are worshiping the true God. Yet he gave them all those descriptions. Look like Jesus did not teach love too. Foolish people associating with them, they will not make a smart person of you. Associating yourself with the wrong fruits is the same as an apple. In a box of apples, one of the apples is bad. We know what will happen after one week. So don't associate yourself with false priests who say to you false information. And don't accept anyone to say to you, well, the Arab are from Ishmael, when he said to you that even the guy, if he is good, because many of them, they are stupid, just say stupid things. They don't know what they are saying. Says to him, well, Ishmael, he married from an Egyptian. He is a son of an Egyptian woman. His father is an Aramaic. How in the world they are Arab, his children? And isn't it true that the Arabs exist before Ishmael? Have you ever heard of a German, he married a Chinese, the son is Polish? What's wrong with people? When I say stupidity is amazing, I have my reasoning. And I prove it to you every day. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. If Muhammad have the same God, then he should have the same value of God. Not only he have different name, this person is a child molester. This person is a rapist. This person is a thief. This person, he went to his own son when the wife is alone and he flirt with her according to Muslim books which means obviously he slept with her already. When his son came to him, he says, my wife, uh, she is hurting me. The wife, she told him that your father was here and he flirted with me. And the wife is so happy. Obviously, she is a whore. A true decent woman, she would be so upset that the father of the husband is a flirty with her. Is that what Jesus taught? Is this is the man who will teach you about God? It is Jesus who said, if your eye misled you, took you into temptation, you better take it off. Better than all your body go to hell. Is that the teaching of Jesus to follow Muhammad? Jesus not only 180 degree the opposite, we cannot even compare, for we are comparing between light and darkness. And the Bible says, light and darkness, they cannot be in the same place. 
So wherever Jesus is, Muhammad is not there. For he is darkness. And he is evil. And he is racist. He insulted the Asian. He insulted the black people. He is a white supremacist. Your priests are false if they go out of what we say. And everything we say is biblical. And everything we say, we showed you from the Quran and from the Hadith. Prove me wrong. Leave your comment if you care, and I don't. I know you don't. And that's why we disabled the chat, because I don't want chatters. I want people who they are coming here to learn. We don't want a chatting community. Hello, how are you doing? We want thinkers, people who seek education, warriors, people who believe truly in God. And they will go and spread the truth, and the truth will set you free. We are not TikTok. And we will not be. We are the Christians. And if God is with me, who could be against me? I hope you learn something for today. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who was serving you humbly for today. And I hope I did not offend you much if you don't agree with me. And I hope that if you get offended, what you can do about it? Refute me. <laughs> Don't cry. Refute me. If you can. Thank you. God bless you. And we are the true believers in the Lord, the Messiah. For he is our God. He is our Savior. Everything was made by him and for him, the Bible say. And those people don't believe in that. So even the maker name is different. Their maker do not even know which one he created first, the stars or the trees. Their makers, he think that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man, and he think that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Their maker, he think that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. Their maker, he think that thunder is an angel. Their maker is an idiot. Are you? Thank you, and God bless you, and see you soon again. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because